Hello friends, this video on Human Health and Diseases Part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So these were the important drugs or the commonly used drugs rather. So now we will talk about another important thing which is extremely harmful for the body but is quite frequently used by people and that is tobacco. Now tobacco is a product which is obtained from the leaves of tobacco plant. So you see most of these drugs are obtained from different plants. So this tobacco contains an alkaloid. Now I hope all of you know where is tobacco present. Tobacco is present in the cigarettes which people smoke. It is also present in the form of the tobacco powder which often many of the people chew it. So it contains an alkaloid called nicotine which is extremely harmful for the body and this is how the structure of the nicotine looks like. This is how it looks. So tobacco is smoked, chewed or even snuffed. So these are the various ways by which tobacco is taken inside the body. Now why do people take it again? I mean if you look at any of these as, as you saw for heroin it is bitter in taste. For tobacco also it is nothing very tasty but it is just because of the addiction that people get used to it and they want it because if, if they do not get it they start feeling restless. So because of that addiction people tend to keep on taking it. Now some of the adverse effects of smoking or chewing tobacco are something like this. So smoking or chewing tobacco can increase blood pressure. How? Because tobacco contains nicotine as I was telling. This nicotine activates the adrenal glands to release the hormone adrenaline. And the purpose of this adrenaline is to increase the blood pressure. Now when more hormone is released, when a lot of adrenaline or noradrenaline is released, what happens? The blood pressure increases. Now when the blood pressure increases, the risk of heart diseases also increases. Because hypertension, blood pressure, heart diseases, they are all related to each other. So smoking and chewing tobacco or smoking or intake of tobacco in any form is directly associated with heart disease. Why? Because it increases the level of the hormone adrenaline. So I'm sure you, you remember all these hormones which we have studied from, uh, released by the various endocrine glands. So this is released by the adrenal gland. Smoking also increases the risk of lung cancer as we discussed. Now when you smoke you are actually inhaling the air and so it is affecting the respiratory tract and the, uh, the lungs are the most important organs of the respiratory system. So that means it increases the risk of lung cancer. It also increases the risk of oral cancer. So oral cancer is caused by chewing tobacco. So when you chew tobacco, the all the cells of your mouth are exposed to the tobacco that is to nicotine for a longer period and as a result chewing tobacco can cause mouth cancer. It also results in oxygen, oxygen deficiency in the body. How? That's because due to smoking, the content of carbon monoxide increases in the body. Now, when the level of carbon monoxide increases, what happens is the hemoglobin, the oxygen which combines with hemoglobin, the content of that oxygen reduces because the combination, the, the way hemoglobin carries oxygen depends upon the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide. But when the suddenly the level of carbon monoxide increases, the entire balance gets disturbed and as a result, the hemobound oxygen reduces in the body, which in turn causes deficiency of oxygen in the body. And we all know how important oxygen is in the body because oxygen is required for cellular respiration in each and every cell of the body. So the body really cannot survive well with deficiency of oxygen. So these are some of the very important adverse effects of smoking and this actually tells you that how bad tobacco, bad tobacco is for health. But unfortunately it has been seen that in, uh, in our country uh, a lot of people smoke and they smoke just for the sake of their addiction and pleasure and there, there are no positive uh, effects associated with smoking but still even the youth very young people, even the youngsters, they start smoking at a very tender age because they feel that it is it is trendy and it is fashionable to smoke. But however, there are only negative effects associated with smoking. 
It also increases the risk of bronchitis. Like as I said, smoking affects your respiratory system directly. So all the diseases that are associated with respiratory system, their chances increases. But the question is, now that we saw that all the negative things are associated with drugs, alcohol, smoking, but still we see a lot of youth get attracted towards drug or alcohol abuse. So the question is, what motivates the youth towards drug or alcohol abuse? Now there are quite a few factors which are very common among the youth and that motivates them or that encourages them to get attracted towards drug or alcohol. One is curiosity. Now, at the adolescence age, when a person is just becoming mature, that time the sense of what is right and what is wrong is not very clear. And that is why all these have been included as a part of your education, so that you know what is right and what is not right at the right time before you take a wrong step. So one thing is curiosity. Sometimes they just want to experiment. They just, they, just, they just want to try smoking once or they just want to try alcohol or drugs once. But they try it for once, but then out of that experimentation, they try it once or twice and then it becomes a habit and then gradually it becomes addiction. So, it, the, so the, this entire process starts with curiosity, adventure and experimentation, but later it becomes addiction and then it spoils the entire life. Peer pressure. Sometimes it also happens that uh, during that young age, you often get carried away by what your friends say. Now, when you have a group of friends and if all of them are drinking, they force you to drink. Or if all of them are smoking, they force you to smoke. They force you that you can just try it for once. If you don't like it, then you don't do it ever. But what happens is in that company, out of that peer pressure, people start trying and then that trying becomes a habit. Social habit. Sometimes people also feel that if they are going out with their friends in a group of 10, if 9 of them are drinking, then they should also drink just to give them company, which is again a very wrong thing because for all these things, you should not even think of experimenting or trying or adventure because if it becomes a habit, then it is going to spoil your entire life. Cope up with stress. Many times it happens that uh, students, they feel, I mean, in, in that tender age, mostly they are students. So they are still studying. So they have some stress due to examination. They have not prepared well or they did not do well in their exams or any sort of failures which can give them stress. So they do not want to face that stress, which is the truth of life. Now, even if you did not do well in your exam, you have to accept that fact and go ahead for a better result. But many a times it happens that they feel that they are not able to overcome that stress or rather they don't want to face that stress. And they think that uh, taking in drug or alcohol will help them to cope up the stress for the time being. But that happens only for the time being. But when you get used to it, it, it spoils your health. Many youth, many young people, they smoke just because they feel that it is fashionable and trendy. So it is quite cool to uh, drink or to smoke. Now these drug or alcohol abuse, they have their immediate effects as well as long term effects. Now some of the immediate effects are like and looks to be very attractive to people and that is why they smoke or drink. Now, some of these immediate effects are violence. For example, when a person is uh, drinking or the person is completely under the influence of um, say a drink or a drug or whatever. So in that case, the person is not in his senses completely. So he tends to create chaos or violence. He feels sleepiness slurred speech so he doesn't speak properly so his, his words they tangle with each other so that it is not at all clear unconsciousness sometimes when they are badly drunk they often become unconscious blackouts that is they their memory get erased for us for some period of time for example when a person is badly drunk it so happens that next day when he tries to remember what happened during that period when he was drunk he is not able to remember anything because the memory gets erased for that particular period of time so that is known as blackout vomiting too much intake of alcohol can also cause vomiting 
people they even go to coma because sometimes if the intake is too high what happens is the entire central nervous system gets messed up now if your brain gets messed up you know brain is the control center of the body so when the brain is getting messed up all other parts of your body will obviously go for a toss and a person can go to coma and a person can even die now death is now immediate as a immediate uh, effect death can happen and death can happen directly as well as indirectly sometimes people under the influence of alcohol they start driving and they meet accidents because they are not in their proper senses sometimes people under the influence of alcohol they abuse others and they end up in fights and if two people who both of whom are under the influence of alcohol they have a fight and they they lose their senses so they don't know what they are doing sometimes it also happens that people commit crimes they kill each other so deaths are very common when a person is under the influence of alcohol aggressive behavior people do not behave in a nice way with their friends family looking at the long term effects now some of the long term effects of drug or alcohol abuse are high risk of infections like aids now somebody who is under the influence of uh, any sort of addiction whether it is drug or alcohol they are in an unconscious behavior so they do not know what is right and what is wrong so they often commit some sexual crimes as well and as we know that a, a disease like aids it is transmitted through sexual contact so there are high risks of uh, infections like aids liver damage because too much intake of alcohol directly affects the liver increased risk of heart diseases as i said tobacco that is smoking or chewing tobacco that directly affects the heart and even the drugs also adversely affect the cardiovascular system higher risk of deadly diseases like cancer now many of these uh, smoking like for example tobacco nicotine which i was talking about it increases the risk of mouth cancer as well as lung cancer depression now taking always being under the influence of alcohol over a longer period of time makes you feel depressed you lose all your energy and you tend to feel sleepiness and weakness throughout the throughout the time so you tend to be depressed abnormal menstrual cycles in females so the entire reproductive process also gets messed up so in females the menstrual cycle become abnormal in males the sperm production decreases to a large extent there are many uh, differences which are seen on in a person like uh, pimples and acne mood swings are also observed as a long term effect so when a person is already addicted to drug or alcohol and he is taking it regularly then all these effects are seen lack of interest in studies and hobbies so they tend to lose interest in their regular activities there are weight fluctuations people who start drinking a lot suddenly over a period of time they tend to gain a lot of weight and sometimes there are weight fluctuations sometimes sudden increase of weight or sudden loss of weight so all these things become very common so these are some of the long term effects of drug or alcohol abuse so you can see that if you whether you talk about drugs or alcohol or smoking they do not have any positive effect associated with them except for the hallucination immediate effects which in turn are going to spoil your health but whether you talk about their immediate effects or long term effects they are harmful for your body so the best thing to do is to prevent and to control because alcohol and drug abuse is not going to do you any good so it needs to be prevented and it needs to be controlled so what are its what are some of the ways that can be used for its prevention and control avoid under peer pressure so even if your friends are forcing you you should be wise enough to know that it is not right so you should not indulge in any of these things and you should also advise your friends not to go for it accept failures now there is no point running away from failures and there is no point drinking or uh, taking drugs just to forget failures so failures are a truth of life knowing the failures you might do better in life so it is better to accept failures face and overcome stress stress is again a part of life problems will come you will resolve them you'll go move ahead again new problems will come so that is how life goes so you should learn to face stress and to overcome it 
take help from parents now you should always discuss things good or bad with your parents because they have better experience maybe you are at a tender age where you are not able to differentiate between the right and the wrong but when you take advice from your parents they are your best guide they are able to help you with the right decision they are able to tell you what is right and what is not seek medical help if required so if you think that you have already indulged into any such activities like taking drugs or uh, have taking alcohol or anything of that sort you can seek a uh, help of a doctor if required thank you please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost watch video lessons ask questions refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.